What's up guys, this is Astronox. I'm gonna talk about the hero buff that will happen on the 31st of October. Unfortunately, Kisei is not part of uh, the heroes that will be buffed. They will uh, do it at a later time in the next hero uh, balance patch. And I mean, it, it could take like two months. So I feel like since they, uh, since they said that she would get a buff and she's not getting one now, they should give us a recall because, I mean, a lot of players have skill ups invested into her. She was like top tier for Wyvern when she came out. But yeah, with the meta and all that, she uh, she doesn't shine as much as she used to before. Her damage, yeah, it's nothing insane really. Uh, she definitely needs a buff. So I feel like a recall should be in order because, I mean, they said she would get one. She's not getting one now. We gotta wait, you know, let's test out the hero that actually got buffed so yeah hit her with a recall all right let's let's proceed with the hero buffs so this actually dropped right when i went to sleep so yeah i'm late on that unfortunately and yo there are some heroes yo some of the buffs are insane insane so this is the list of heroes that are getting buffed and let's let's begin. So Tenebria, she's got you know dark ex dark explosion, 20% damage increase. Uh, Omnius Thunder, the skill two has decreased speed for two turns. It's an AOE. Skill three, 75% chance to put targets to sleep for one turn. On top of doing the D break, you know, uh, and she's getting the attack buff. That that's really cool. That's really cool. Specimen says you got a uh, stun chance increase, you know, from 30% to 45%. Very cool. And Lightstorm inflicts extinction. Very, very cool. Since he can, like, pretty much one shot anyone with this skill, now they won't be able to be resurrected. Very, very cool. And. Yeah, it penetrates defense by 30%. So you don't even need to land, you know, that stun. You could potentially kill some fairly squishy heroes straight up with this skill. Very cool. I'm not going to read through this stuff. Okay, Domino. She has uh, a 90% uh, chance to stun for one turn with uh, Ice Spear. That, that That's a big buff there. It's almost a hundred. Oh. Okay, yeah, it was 50% chance to stun and decrease uh, combat readiness before. Rin. Yo, greater attack buff on her. I remember when I was reading this stuff for skill three. Very cool. So uh, skill one will have a uh, CR push of 15% for herself. So... She's going to be able to cycle through her kit faster. Showtime. Oh, man. Look at that. She actually... She actually applies a barrier on top of healing. You know, the barrier was one of the uh, random buffs she could apply. Now she's getting that barrier. Wait. No, 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 no. Sorry. She's just healing. My bad. She's just healing. She's just healing. Now, from the buffs, the list of buffs, greater attack is here. You got continuous healing. That, that, that wasn't part of it before. So, yeah. And everything else was this way before. But the thing with the barrier, now in this new list, it's just not there. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, they're saying, in addition to these change, Rencho uh, time skills, random buff include the buff continuous healing. However, it has been omitted in her skill description. This will be corrected with uh, the balance adjustment. Maybe it was already in the game. It just wasn't part of the description. Okay, Champion Zirato. Yo, yo, he's crazy now. He... He's definitely insane. Okay, look, his kit, man, major change, major. 
he attacks two enemies, you know, two enemies, he transfers two debuffs, like, wow, that, that just to begin with, that, that's crazy. Then he recovers HP, <laughs> all that in his skill one, man. And the amount recovers, uh, recovered increases proportional to the caster's max health. Uh, very cool. So, what this means is that you can make him, like, quite tanky, right? You can make him quite tanky, and he's going to be healing based on his max HP. So, you don't have to deal some crazy damage <clears throat> for him to heal. So, that's very good. Iron Will, man. Immune to decreased hit chance. That's so good because one of the biggest issue with him is, yo, he got hit with decreased hit chance and then he misses and he cannot even transfer debuffs that are on him. So rip there. And of course he's very squishy as a mage, but he's getting increased defense for two turns, you know, on his uh, skill three. That's that's very cool as well. So. In be, like between the decrease, I mean the, the defense increase, plus the the sustain. I mean it might not be much, but the fact that he's got that immunity to decrease hit chance, plus he's not attacking two heroes and transfers two debuffs, that that's pretty insane. Now if he's attacking two heroes, right? Does this mean that he will transfer uh, two debuffs that are on him to both? Of those heroes or will the, the debuff be split between the two uh, I'm not sure exactly how that works but I hope he actually uh, transfers the two debuffs to both enemies that would be crazy okay so assassin Sid oh man a new mechanic is gonna be introduced in the game so he's got decreased defense, you know, 50% chance decreased defense for two turns instead of, uh, you know, poison debuff. Like, who cares about that in PvP? Who cares about poison? So now, that's that's very good. But look at this thing. Look at this thing here. He's getting evasion chance uh, buff for two turns. So that's a 30% evasion uh, chance. And he removes... 20 souls from the opponent. Yo, that's crazy. He's like, you know, he's top tier for speed. You know, k Ron's number one. Uh, 130, uh, what's, how many speed k has? 129 or 131? Well, Assassin Sid, man, he, uh, with uh, Celeste, they are, you know, at the top. Uh, well, of course, beside k -Ron, before I get corrected in the de description, like I uh, got, like, way back. Um, so yeah, so he can go first, you know, quite easily, and he's gonna, like, if they only have, uh, Judge Kise on their team, they're trying to come in and cleave you, he goes and he removes 20 souls from the opponent, but what if she has, you know, uh, an immunity set? How does that work? Let's, let's read, let's read this stuff. Soul removal. Remove souls from the enemy even if the attack misses or the enemy resists the effect. Damn, boy. That's so good. That is so good. You just slap him on your defense and he will just eat their souls. That, that's really cool. Very, very cool. Arrowell. She has... Uh, she dispels two buffs now with uh, skill one. That's good. That's good. And the barrier, that her that, that is her passive. Grants a barrier to the ally with the lowest health for two turns at the beginning of the battle. And each time the caster takes a turn, barrier strength increases proportional to the caster's max health. So... Yeah, your squishy can receive a barrier from her. Uh, we'll have to to see how strong this barrier is. You know this. Uh, yeah, I mean you could easily target who will receive that. You know your your seaside Bellona. Maybe you apply a barrier to your uh, judge 
Kisei with uh, her. Probably an, not really a spot in the team for, for her kit, really. I mean, she, it's, it's not like a fallen uh, Cecilia. Mirsa, increase evasion chance by 50%. Yo, that that is OP. That is OP. Ev she is an evasion tank. You know, I saw that all the way back when I did a review for her. Like some random review. You know, I pulled her. I did a random review. It was like so many months ago. I mean, it was like near, like, I don't know, like a, a month after global release or something like that. Yeah, man, 50% evasion straight up. And then you add Moonlight Dreamblade. Oh my god, it's gonna be cancer to land an attack on her. And she has so much evasion, you can just use uh, Violet Talisman on her because she already has so much to begin with. And then you add Assassin Cartuja. Are you kidding me? How much evasion will she have? How much? Will What? Wait, is that even... Because, like, uh, Moonlight Dreamblade is 20%, right? Cartuja is 15. That's 35. That's that's 85% evasion. What the hell? What the, what the hell? With Vile Talisman, it's, what, 5 or 10% more? After it's buffed up? What, she's gonna have, like, what? 95% evasion? Uh, something must be wrong here. Uh, yeah, something must be wrong. Uh, maybe it doesn't stack together? Because... Hmm, hmm. Let us know in the comment section how much evasion you think she's gonna have. Mirsa is a thief with her concept centering around the ability to evade the enemy with uh, this condition being dependent on the amount of health that she had lost. In keeping with this concept, we have increased her evasion chance to 50% compared to 20%. Yo, that's 30% more evasion. That's already cancer. Like, just like... Yo, just Violet with Assassin Cartuja is already so cancer. She's gonna evade so much. She's gonna evade so much. And every time she evades that, decrease cooldown of the cancer by one turn and increase speed for two turns. Oh god, and then wait until she has a specialty change. Okay, Elson. Elson is back, baby. Elson is back. So decrease cooldown by one turn on Meteor Shower. So that's that's cool. That that's uh, meter shower, I believe, is uh, his uh, skill. Hmm. Well, he doesn't have. Yeah, he has the same kit as he had before. Uh, meteor shower must be the healing. That's it. That's skill number two. So he heals a bit. Now skill number three. So it recovers health now. You got the attack and defense increase for two turns. His cooldown is down to four turns. That's beautiful. And amount recovered increases proportional to the target's max health. I feel like it would have been better if the scaling would be like based on his max HP. But yeah, maybe that would be too good because he would be the one that's more like tanky, has more health than some of the other heroes on your group but defense buff is uh, is very powerful anyway so he definitely increases your team survival by a lot you know early game definitely viable option there once again even mid game uh, late game we got better options we're gonna have to kind of test him out but he's kind of like his survival stats are not so great still very cool very cool man three turn and four turns and you can you can soul burn his skill three for a, a buff duration extension by two turns from what I remember. So yeah, that so that's it for the the buffs. Uh, I mean, let us know in the comment section what you think about all the these buffs. Which hero will you be like building up? Maybe you're gonna rush build some hero, aka uh, Champion Zirato. He's crazy, man. Yo, that's gonna be so fun. Maybe you're gonna build Assassin Sid. Because you want to just counter those Judge Keys. Are you going to slap best speed gear you have on him? And just like make them cry with no soul. Eat all their souls. And that's going to be great. That's going to be great. So uh, that's a pretty solid counter to Judge Keys. But I mean, he's squishy at least. They're going to have to like kind of... Yeah. They, they, they could bring, you know, another light hero in the team and just bait bait him or like it's gonna be a 50 50 he might go for the squishiest hero uh, the ai is kind of weird sometimes 
But yeah, that's some solid buffs. Solid buffs. So let us know what you're gonna be building. What are you, what are you excited for? You know, maybe one of the hero here. You really like the hero's concept and you're just gonna go for it now. So yeah, let us know. Let me check actually Elson real quick. And uh, yeah, hit that like button guys if you enjoyed this video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell icon if you'd like to be notified whenever I release a new video. And Elson. Elson is here. And you see, oh, okay. A extend buff duration by one turn. It's not two, but it only costs 10 souls. So it's, it's not bad. Yeah, man, the cooldown increase that they did there, they, it's just massive nerf. The uptime was too bad on these buffs. Now he's back, he's back. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And he's got decreased attack on skill 1, That that's very powerful. I mean, cutting the uh, boss's attack in half is huge. So yeah, uh, that's it for this one, guys. Um, check out my other videos, they should be showing up on the screen now. Playlists of all, of all sorts. Uh, what are they again? Uh, <laughs> Arena Guild Wars, uh, Abyss Floor 62 Plus, uh, guys, tips and how tos as well. And uh, check out, uh, yeah, check out my other videos. And uh, join my Discord server. You know, we have uh, probably 600 members now. So, yeah, join it and uh, come chat with us. And good luck with all you do. Peace out for now.